Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Uh, we're back in Norda Palika, I think it's called, where we're gonna go meet up with this bellious woman who is like, what did they call her, the Deuce? Which I'm pretty sure is just like a female Duke, basically, or something like that. Or a female Dawn. I don't know. Anyways, let's do this skit and then we'll be on our way. Just what sort of person is this bellious exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongrest, so I don't really know the guilds in Norda Palika. The last thing we need is another Dawn on our hands. Ha, <laughs> huh, you can say that again. One Dawn is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now. Alright, well, let's go find her then. What are you doing? Hello there, this is the Surveyor's Guild. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't need to deal with you. Do, do Welcome to you. This shop is directly affiliated with Fortune's Market. Whether you're on a long journey or just a trip to the Coliseum, we have the items to satisfy your needs. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and fill back out the basic items. I'm doing pretty good on cash, but I like to save cash. Get, like, two more of these. I should probably endeavor to buy, like, two Panakia bottles every time I come by a shop just because of how expensive they are. I don't want to try and max out how many I have, but it'll be good to have them on hand. Uh, this might also be pretty handy. Grab, like, two of these. They're not that expensive. In fact, get three. Uh, yeah. Alright, that was only 6k. What do we got for weapons, though? The Damascus Sword will give me happiness, happiness 2 and happiness 3, apparently. So I'll take that. That's for Carol. I really don't care to buy things for Carol because we, like, never use them in combat. Definitely get that for you. Yeah, you can take that. You know what? Honestly, Carol, I feel kind of bad for you. Oh, wait, we already have the Snipe Sifo, so I don't need that. And we have the Trident, so I don't need that. Uh, we do need... No, you've already got that equipped. Never mind. All right, cool. So that's all we need to buy there. Could buy some of these. This would be better for Estelle. So I'll buy that for Estelle. I'll buy one of these just for Yuri. And then over here... I think I can afford to get one of each of these. I need two of these, though, because I need one for for uh, him. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of cash here. I don't think I'm going to mess with these items at all. At least not for now. Yeah, because we're already going to spend, like, half of our cash. Let's just do this. There we go. All right. Yep, yep. Thank you and all that jazz. Cool. Got that done. So let's actually look and see who needs stuff moved around. I still want to get that combo. Plus... Uh, I really wish I could have bought another, another uh, sub weapon for Yuri, but or for Estelle, but apparently those don't exist. You're still learning that. I did get you this headdress that'll help you out a good bit, and I got you this mighty guard. You are still learning those. Apparently, sub weapons are just really rare. You don't run into them very often, I guess. I don't think that's worth it. Do 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 do. This is much better for you. Not worth. Uh, you are almost done mastering the ore, thank goodness. I did get you this trench coat change, long coat now, I think is what you're going to be using. Is that better than a... Uh... No, the hard leather coat is best for you. There you go. You did not get a new weapon. I don't think I got you... Oh, I got the metal jacket for you. There you go. Uh, you also got a mighty guard, and I don't remember if I... Ooh, that's really good. Don't remember... Oh, you're still learning Smash Bell. Okay, but you do have... Yeah, you get the Snipe Cephos next. You... Still mastering that stuff. Pirate Hat's better. I think we're good now. Yeah. Alright, sick. Let's go find Bellius then. I'm a member of Palestral, the guild that governs this city. I'm on patrol tonight, as usual. Well, you know, good for you, I guess. I'm gonna go in here. Am I recording everything? Yes, I am. Video and audio. Good. Hello. This is the general reception for Coliseum events. As the Coliseum City, we're proud to offer a nighttime contest too. Feel free to participate. Words I can read. I just want to find this bellious chick. 
Lord Bellius private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. What if I like stabbed you? Would that change your mind at all? But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild, Brave Vesperia. I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the deuce? Yes. Uh huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. Yeah, but like, just tell them that we're here to deliver a message from the Don. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? See, look, exactly as I told him to. The Don. Oh, my apologies. My name is Knotts. I am the acting representative for the Deuce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Deuce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. What? If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. That's a little beyond weird, I would say. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? Let's just, like, take this guy out? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So, why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the Air Kreen myself. We have a lot of info looking to do. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if Old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Yeah. He actually said sure, but I just felt like saying yeah for some reason. All right, let's get going too. Raven, no, come back. I miss you. I don't actually, I only miss Richie, no one else. That's a reference that probably no one who watches my videos gets, but you know. Where, oh where, should we go to try to get this information, I wonder? This is the inn, apparently. Can I just rest at the inn? Welcome. Staying the night? I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. A companion? No other guests have come yet today, actually. Raven. That filthy liar. Can't trust that old man to get anything done. In that case, how about we spend some more time talking to people in town? Guess so. Define in town. Does here in the Coliseum count as in town, or do you mean back out here? These are the questions that I need answers to. I would assume inside the Coliseum would not count as town. I came to Desir to explore the lands to the west of here and search for my heritage as a Critian. Oh, so the Critians hail from Desir originally. But the road through the mountains is out, and I was denied passage. Unfort. I guess that's a common hairstyle for Critians, or at least Critian women, because she has the same, uh, those same little, like, hair extension things. Or it's probably not, like, extensions, but you know what I mean. Those, like, weird pigtail things, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. The same one that Judith has. I thought that was just something that Judith did. No one will believe me, but I saw it. I did. I saw that monster with my own eyes, plain as day. Yes, it was on a night like tonight with a foul wind blowing. That sounds... Like Pharaoh, potentially. I assume there's someone specific. Ah, hey. What are you doing? Oh, it's Patty. What's she up to? It looks like she's shopping. I'll take this and this. Y yes. Hey, you. What's this about? Uh, I hate to ask, but could you perhaps be Eifried's granddaughter? Your outfit is quite unique. Ooh. I hate to tell you this, uh, Patty, if you are his grandfather, but, uh, Eifried kind of got turned into a demon and was killed by Aizen. You see, there's been some rumors going around lately. Apparently, there's been a girl that wears the same outfit as Eifried, and she calls herself his granddaughter. Huh? Granddaughter? Really? I knew it. Uh, that'll be 450 gold. Uh, 
Uh, well, this is hard to say, but would you mind not coming to my store anymore? Wow! It's incredibly rude. Because of my Freed's granddaughter? Uh, well, I don't really mind personally. It's just that it makes the other customers uncomfortable. Huh? Wait, me? Hold on a second. I didn't mean to. What do you mean? You're the one who said the store's reputation would go down if we served the granddaughter of the man who tarnished the honor of the guild. Guys are douchers. Well, come on. A guild's duty is to protect the people, and she's the granddaughter of the man who violated that duty by slaughtering countless civilians. Th that was... What a bunch of nonsense. Kill them, Yuri. Kill them right now. What? What's with you? What is this kid responsible for? Did she herself do anything wrong? It's okay, Yuri. Don't get so worked up. It's always like this. Hey, Yuri's going out of his way for you here. There's no need to worry. I'm leaving this town soon anyway. Later. Hey, I wasn't finished. Ah, <sighs> uh, I swear. Patty is Ifreen's granddaughter. What could this mean? Well, you see, Ifreen found a woman that... I was going to say that he loved very, very much, but Ifreen was a pirate who apparently killed civilians, so I'm just going to say that Ifreen found a woman and uh, went through the process of procreation, and then the child that resulted from that affair... Uh, also went through the process of procreation, and thus Patty came into the world. And that's how it went. That's what that means. I've never heard anything about that. I wonder if it's true. Who knows? Still, I wonder if this Ifreed character is really as bad as they say. I don't know, Ifreed was pretty cool in Berseria. His guild lost credit due to the Black Hope incident. After that, lots of people started to talk badly about the guild's members. I see. Have we been told what the Black Hope incident is before? I don't remember what that is. Yuri, do you think it's okay to just leave her be? We're talking about Patty here. She's a tough girl. Yeah, I don't know if you realize this or not, but she was literally eaten by a sea monster and then puked back up. And she was a-okay. Yeah, and more importantly, if we keep the old man waiting, he might stir up more trouble. I guess so. Alright, that was a nice bit of information right there. I freed. I wonder if Patty's okay. She's a tough girl. I'm sure she'll be back on her feet in no time. Do you think Patty really is I freed's granddaughter? Whether she is or not isn't the issue. Patty herself hasn't done anything to deserve being treated that way. You don't know that girl. You don't know what she's done. It may simply be a matter of guild pride. They're angry and hurt over what happened, even now. But I freed isn't here anymore. Patty is the only outlet they have left for all their rage. But that still doesn't make it okay to take it out on Patty. Of course not. Patty, you can't let yourself get used to such treatment. Ah, yeah. The world sucks sometimes. It's the way the cookie crumbles and all that jazz. I assume now we need to go back to the inn to meet up with Raven. Assuming he's actually there. Only one way to find out. Hey, you. Oh, you're the guest from earlier. Could your companion be the man in that gaudy get-up? Ah, that sounds like Raven. That sounds like him. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I am in tune with the characters today. Is that a male Critian right there, just behind Judith, who also has the, like, pigtail hair extension thing? So I guess it's just a Critian thing in general. It's not even just for the women Critian. I see. Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Uh, yeah. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. I concur. Raven joined the party. Sick. Didn't even have to talk to him. What's happening here? Uh, is that Estelle? Pretty sure that's Estelle. Kind of hard to tell from the distance. Yeah, it's definitely Estelle. Pink hair. Why is the camera so... Oh, because she's coming further this way. I was about to say, why is the camera so far away? She didn't even get that close before the camera changed again.
Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out here for some fresh air. I might have added in a word there, but you know, it happens. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh, yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison. Huh. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Yeah, Ruri, yeah, words. Yuri's not the best at it, but you know, he tries. Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. I guess I do feel a little better. It's better than nothing. Hey! Yuri, look at that. That's Brave Vesperia. It is very blue. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. Wait a minute, I thought the star was just called Vesperia, not Brave Vesperia. I thought that we added the Brave for the guild name. I don't know. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. Is this a reference to another Tales game? Maybe? The sister they called Child of the Full Moon after the struggle she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. I guess the star is actually called Brave Vesperia and we literally just took the star's name. The end. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should, too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. Alright, then nice late night talk there. Now we gotta figure out a way to talk to this bellious woman. What are we here for? A town with a coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. Yep, all sorts of reasons. Specifically, too. Then there's people like us, too. I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Huh, a lost child? Hey. Well then, what about old... Never mind, I know where this is going. You know what, Raven? It's probably the smartest decision you've made in this game yet, to just say no, right there. I'm an informer who can always deliver the latest information. Right now, the hottest topic is the undefeated champion. Clad in some real high-class armor and with awesome swordsmanship. All right, well... I thought you'd actually be worth something, but instead you just told me there is someone really good in good armor. We probably should try and go through the Coliseum, like, at least once. We'll probably do that today. Is that Duke right there, or who is that? I'm sorry, but the Deuce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Oh yeah, it is Duke. I couldn't tell from the side. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Bellius? I didn't need to say Bellius there. Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? Alright, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Alright, well, good chat. Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. Man, what's with that guy? Alright, let's try talking to this nerd again. Bellius only receives guests on the night of the new moon. Come back at that time if you have business with her. That's so stupid. Only those entering into the contest are allowed to enter. Makes sense. Uh, older gentlemen who shoot a little higher must remain cool and gallant, even when doing battle with monsters. Of course, sometimes we need to yada, 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 whatever. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. I can do it, I can do it. All right, well, 